people. And if you need something, you know, just chat to me and, and let me know that, that there's something I can do differently. Let's just start off sitting tall and rolling the shoulders back and rolling the shoulders forward. And when you roll the shoulders back, do what you do if you were rolling, I was gonna say a joint, but let me keep it PG. Do what you do if you're rolling a fajita. You know, you're rolling the tortilla in. So roll across and roll in, roll your shoulders. Use your elbows to shrug into almost like you're putting on a really heavy parka. So you're rolling the shoulders and rolling. What elbow, what arm is on top? Make that go on the bottom. So then roll to the second. Now let's have this rolling and undulating of the shoulders and the arms and add a twist. So you're gonna come over and just kind of rolling over to the side. Here, you might imagine rowing in a honey lake, right? So that honey is very viscous and you're having to dig that paddle in sideways and swing around. Concentrate here on the left arm, left side, left ribs. So it's rolling over and over. We're staying on the right side a couple more times. Now placing please the left hand onto the right knee and take the right hand all the way back to the back of your new chair with your initials or name on it that your daughter got you for Christmas and then twist and stay in that twist. And as you stay in the twist, pulse a little. So think of that rounding and arching the back, rounding, arching. You're still in the twist, but you're letting the torso drift to the right. And here you could imagine a beautiful swirling frozen yogurt when it comes out of the machine, right? So you see that twist and swirl and swirl, good. Now come back through the center. Let's put on that heavy parka again. So it's back and forth and swing the arms. For my kids who want to work slow, sweet, steady, you're using the arms. For my kids who ask for a little more spice, it's a crunch with one knee and a crunch with the other. So again, either taking it slow, and when I say go slowly, I mean go slow, 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 slow. If you are one of the harder students working a little harder, it's a cross, mm, it's a cross. If you're taking it easy, why not close your eyes and imagine the unfolding of a crocus piercing the snowy shell of winter, right? So go slow, go slow. If you're doing the crunches, use the knee to come closer, closer in towards the chest. We have 10 more. And we're going slowly with the slow crocus open, closing, open, breathing. And you're crunching if you're going for the knee into the chest. Otherwise, you're going very slowly here. Begin to row that oar over towards the left. So it's rowing across and down and across. And there's almost that cat and cow sliding that left elbow back and behind and sliding back and behind. And you're turning, turning. Maybe you even turn your head to look over your left shoulder such that you get the twist to move along the neck and almost into the upper, upper side of your, uh, your lap on your right. Keep going. So we're rowing and we're rowing. Now, right hand, outer left knee, left hand back of chair. Sit up tall and twist to look over your left shoulder. And as you twist to look over your left shoulder, can you round and arch 
So you're giving me that pulsing again. I just left students who have been battling COVID and virtually, I was with them virtually, and we just worked on the breath and just rounding and arching the back and coaxing the lungs to blossom out and into the rib cage. So from what we're learning about COVID, the residual is lung damage, lung tissue that's a little bit compromised. So why don't we start here breathing more deeply so that your lungs are super healthy, starting strong. Then should something go wrong, you'll be at a better set point. Now, come back into center. Roll the wrists, let's get into Barbara's hands. And so you're rolling the wrists there. Now, for those of you who want to stay slow, steady, sweet, reverse the direction, reverse the direction. For, for my more aggressive students, you're moving off of the chair, holding, and then going down. So you're lifting up and off the chair, holding, and then you're going down. And we'll have about 20 more, just up and down. And you don't have to go up very high. You know, you can go a little bit slowly off your seat and then plunking yourself back down. So figure out what feels right for you. Those of you who are doing the hands, let's switch it up a little bit. So let's place the hands palms together and then begin to swim the hands. Those of you who are going up and down, you can stay with the wrist rolls, or you could start to flip the flapjack, right? Ah, you see me wearing this bulky sweater today because I'm cold, but also I have been eating so many pancakes, waffles, blintzes. Why? I got some really great Vermont syrup from Yak and Am. Yeah, that's what I got for Christmas. So I can't let that go to waste. So that's what I, that's what I have on the sweater because I'm feeling a little chunky. Keep going, guys. Good. Couple more. Barbara and I are gonna intertwine our hands to the knuckles and turn our palms inside out. My kids who want a little harder class, let's switch it up. So lean back. Hold the back of the skull and then pick the knees up and then around the back, exhale, pushing the hands forward. Barbara and I are pulsing, opening the wrist and then hugging the hands into the heart. For my more aggressive students, hands behind the head, knees up and then push forward. And then knees up and push forward. And Barbara and I are going front to back and then for my wrist and hands kids, go to the side and come back to center and go to the second side. And my kids who are working on core, back and forth and back and forth. We have 10 more of those, either moving towards one side of the room, towards the other, or Mix it up a little. Yes. Let me see. Good, and Excellent, Yakov. Wow, Erin. And then over and over. Great. Now pause there. Shake out the hands, shake out the shoulders. Take your left thumb and march it along the forearm of the right hand and mash so much into the arm that your hand starts to curl, right? So if you feel that squeezing, squeezing, look what happens to your fingers. They start to curl in on themselves. Yeah, so try that, just marching up and down the arm. And then take the palm of the right hand, 
Show it to the front of the room, latch onto the fingers, and let's stretch out the wrist. And as you stretch the fingertips towards the floor, move the head clockwise, counterclockwise, and just feel what that does to the neck, the shoulders. Now keep the, the right hand uh, open as it is. Dig your right elbow into the eye of the left. See if you can pronounce more of a stretch on your right wrist. And just take it slightly over to the side. Now let go of your right hand. Allow the knuckles of both hands to face each other. Right? If you have more range, maybe you grip the thumbs. If you have more range still, maybe you bring the hands to touch towards each other. This, that's perfect, Aaron. You're perfect. Good on Kasma. Excellent, Barbara. Now, those of you who are here, hold. Those of you who want a more of aggressive class, bring the knees apart. Bring the knees together. So you're hopping in and out, in and out. For those of you who are working slow and steady, you're becoming like a cobra gliding out of a wicker basket to the sound of a melodic flute in a Turkish market. Yeah, all right. Far, far over to the left, far to the right. Keep going back and in, good. Seven more. And Barbara and I are going up and down to use the arms as a counter lever to open up the low back, the middle back. And now come on out. Fasten your fingertips onto your shoulders. Take your elbows back, spiral them back. Good. My gentle kids are here. My kids who are more aggressive, it's the tap, it's the tap, it's the tap, swing, tap, swing, tap, swing. And you're just twisting. Barbara and I are going from front to back, front to back. And good job, everyone. Pause there. Shake out the arms and just shake out the lips. Just give a little pitter patter of your feet. Shake out the arms. Let's squeeze out tension from the left arm. So take your right thumb and mash it along the left forearm and mash so aggressively that mm, those left fingers begin to coil in on themselves. Yes. So you're giving a little, a little acupressure along there. Good. Now, open the left palm so that the fingertips point down, and then latch your fingers on and upon the fingertips of the left, and then just roll out your left thumb. Maybe move your head from side to side. Our wrist carpals can be very fatigued by being on a keyboard, right? From texting, from from just the general stress of life. So we wanna open up our hands to create opening in the wrist and the elbows, and then the elbows relax and the shoulders relax. Elbow of the left plunges into, plunge the left elbow into the eye of the right, and then take your hand from side to side. Now this is a strong cup of medicine, so maybe you only stay right here and you don't go so much. Look at this, this is a big wrist extension and could be inappropriate if you've had any history of um, carpal tunnel syndrome or any uh, inflexible wrist, you might not wanna do it. Now, set free your left hand, swing so that the knuckles face towards each other, right? And then Aaron, you're good wherever you land because of your shoulder. Anybody else, who's gonna maybe grab the thumbs towards each other? Or maybe let the, good. Beautiful, Gwen, that's it, that's it. My gentle ones, lowering and lifting. My more aggressive students, stride wide, bring it back. So it's that stride wide, it's like chopping a lock. What if you were back in your cabin, high up 
with no electricity. You had to chop some wood to put in the log, uh, to the, the little um, fire, the, the black cast iron pot, uh, fire place that you have. Those are so cool because you can actually cook on them too. So they radiate a lot of heat and then you can make a beautiful pot of beans. Yeah, because nothing says it's winter like beans. Yeah, keep going. One of my students told me I was full of beans and I didn't understand that until she told me it meant I had a lot of energy. Thanks, Anne. So we're going back and forth and back and forth. Nice. Now, unravel your hands, keep your knees wide. Hold your hands onto the tops of the knees and then everybody's gonna do this. Very slow for my slow kids. Dip the right shoulder. Lower the right ear to the floor and hang out. Just a shoulder stretch. And then come through center. Dip the left shoulder. Take the left ear to the floor and twist and hold. Just a shoulder stretch on that side. My gentle kids, we will repeat this on the breath 10 more times. My more vigorous bunch, it's the weed picking. So you're dragging back and putting the right arm down and reach the left arm across and take the leads, throw them back. So for Barbara and I, maybe, oh, Barbara's joining the heart. Okay, Barbara's joining the aggressive bunch. Take your time, take those weeds and throw them back and take the good yaka. Wow, that, sh that shoveling snow made you really, really primed for action this morning, and it's a cross. Twist, and it's a cross. Excellent, excellent job, Anne. Wow, Jill, look at you. So wonderful, keep going, guys. Across, back, hand on knee. Across, take it back, your hand is on your knee. Go across, take it back, your hand is on your knee. Go again. Good, wonderful everybody. Now pause here, keeping your right knee bent. Let's stride our left kneecap towards the floor and have a twist. So as you twist, you're dangling your left thigh down. Everybody, everybody, begin to bowl the strike with the left hand. So swing the left arm forward, swing the left arm back. Swing the left arm forward, swing the left arm back. For my gentle kids, the arm is moving, the leg is still. For my kids who are a little more aggressive, it's a striding of the left hand away and the left leg away, and then coming back, reaching and tapping the foot. And you're holding onto the chair with the right hand, lest you topple off the chair, okay? Please don't do that. So it's here and then back. And then you're reaching in two directions and then you're going back. Otherwise, it's just a glorious swinging of a pail forward and back, forward and back. Good, and taking your time. Wow, that's it. Great job, wonderful. Wonderful, guys, keep going. Let's have about four more. So reach forward with the left, reach back with the left foot, forward with the left hand, and then tap. And three, tap. Two, tap. On the one, listen to your teacher, take your left leg, pick it up and drape it across the right. So you're on the center of the chair, please. Twist your right elbow across your left knee. Take your left hand to the back of the chair and turn your torso. And as you turn your torso, certainly you can sit up a little more straight. That's it, Joan, good. Please don't, please don't copy your wife, she's wrong. Please don't do what Gwen is doing. Please don't do that, Aaron. Go the other way, you were right. Right elbow, left knee, yes. She's usually right 
But on this one small occasion, this is the first time Gwen has ever been wrong in her whole life. And I've been knowing her, how long have I known? And then twist and twist and twist. Woo! Pull the belly in. Now, saying here is good in the twist. Who's gonna reach around, hold the right hand for the left knee or the right hand for the left ankle. And then you're gonna start or get your strap on Kazma, and then you're starting to put. Now, if this is too much holding the foot, watch this. Wrap your right elbow underneath the left knee and hold in. Wow, good. That's it, Barbara. And twist, look over your left shoulder, and, and twist, ya. Yeah. And then we're starting to kick to the side and kick. And we have 10, nine, kicking. Otherwise, we're staying steady, eight. Seven, six, five, good, four, three. My gentle kids replace the left thigh back. My kids who are more aggressive are staying. Aaron and I, as we do, we reach towards the floor and we're leaning way back. Woo. So if you have a, wow, on Cosmo, that new chair has changed your life. Look at you touching that. Wow, Joan, look at you. Wonderful, yeah, good. That's it. And now release. Put the left foot down, hands on the knees, and now twist. Now we're gonna twist the way you want to, Gwen. So everybody twist, look over the right shoulder. So both knees are together pointing towards the right side, but you're looking over the right shoulder now to the back of the room, and then maybe even all the way over to the other side. So the left hand is pulling the chair on Kasma, your new chair, and the right hand is pushing. Yeah, so you're pushing with your left, right hand and pulling with the left. Now, let's do a little bit of core here, probably, uh, those of you who want to work low back, just stay here and swing, holding your heel to your glute. So let's get a quad stretch if you're working on your low back. Those of you who wanted a, a harder class, come into a boat. So face sideways, lean back, and just pick up your legs, and then up, bend, down, tap, up, bend, down, tap, up. So either you're stretching for a quad stretch or you're lifting. Wow, mother of the bride, look at you, look at you. Wow, y'all, good, that's it. Wonderful, wonderful. Barbara, so good, excellent, Aunt Kaz. Two, three, and one. Everybody release. Sit up tall, face front. Inhale, stretches the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands down, touch the ankles, the toes, or the floor. Half sun salutations. Inhale, the arms up, look up, breathe. Exhale, fold, go down, touching the ankles, the shins, or perhaps the floor. Eight more times. Inhale, 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 arms up. Exhale, 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 swan dive over the thighs, hands down. Seven more, you're doing so well. Inhale, 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 arms up, back. Exhale, exhale, slow going down. Inhale, 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 up, breathe. Exhale, 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 go slowly, touch down. Five more, inhale, 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 arms up, stretch, lean back. Exhale, 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 down. Keep going, maybe, Maybe you lean back a little bit more so you get some core. And then exhale, exhale, slow down. 
Last three, last three. Inhale, inhale. Big inhales. Get in that morning air into your lungs. And then exhale, 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 exhale down. Two more, two more. Inhale, 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 inhale. Arms up, reach up and back. Last one, exhale, 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 exhale down. Inhale, inhale, inhale up. Keep the arms out to the side. And then we're making little circles, just little circles, circling back. Now, how are your hands? Are your hands limp and wilty? No, your hand is quite strong and starch straight like a spade. So go. So rolling the arms in a little circle. Relax your right shoulder a little more, Barbara. It's a little higher than the left. So relax it down. Good, that's it. Good. Beautiful, Anne. Your palms are facing the floor, Yakov. So guys, I should see your thumbs and your hands are flat. Okay, so good. Excellent. Great. Reverse the circle. So if you went one direction, go the other. Who remembers rowing in that honey river? The air is now viscous and it's made of something really thick like pea soup. So now you're having to go slow and your arms can barely move. Keep the arms straight and then reverse that. Oh, and your arms now weigh 50 tons. Each arm is really heavy. So your arms are really trying to work and make the, all the muscles in the hands strong. All the muscles in the biceps strong. Guys, we don't even have weights and feel how heavy your arms are. Keep going. We have 10 more seconds of this hell, right? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to make your arms heavy and then move them. Oh, come on. Why are you so lazy? Why are you lazy today? Come on. Keep going. Oh, yes, I know it's hard. I know. I don't care because I have to work off those pancakes. Come on. Come on. Ugh! And then mercifully release. Oh, wasn't that hard? Shake it out. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you some beautiful arms come spring. Turn your knees to the left and pivot. Now, your left knee points to the left, your right knee to the sticky mountain floor. My gentle kids, it's just opening the arm forward and back. My more aggressive kids, watch. Right arm forward, right leg back, so it's bam, and then touch your Achilles tendon. So we have about 20. So you're reaching and going back. Beautiful. Stride forward with that sit. 90. Mm. 80. Mm. 70. Keep going. Stretch. Come on, kick your right leg way back. Reach your right hand all the way all the way to the opposite side of the room. Are you touching your heel and the Achilles tendon on the back stroke? I need you to get that core in the whole side. Otherwise the arm is swinging and you're swinging that pail. You've just been out to melt the cow and you're swinging a pail of freshly milk in that, right? But it's frozen, so that pail is pretty heavy. Because it's cold out. Last five. Out. Back. And out. Keep going. So it's front to back. Beautiful. That's it. Wow, guys. Wonderful, Yakov. Come on, swing that pail. Swing it. Swing it. Good. Nice. Level one, two, so if you're, if you're on the more gentle side, you're coming for that quad stretch and you're, you're holding here. 
if you were more aggressive, then you're coming around and you're bringing your, your left leg all the way to a crunch and then holding back and then bringing it towards a crunch and then holding back. So, so we're going into a big quad stretch here, moving the right knee down and then over and back. Couple more, otherwise you're holding your heel towards your glute. Now, lift your right leg. Please take your right leg up and over the top of the left. So the right leg is draping over, the crooks of their knee is touching the top. Sit up tall there. Your right leg is on top. Take your left hand, left elbow across the right knee. Take the right hand behind and twist. Look over your right shoulder. Yes. And so you're sitting up tall. And where's that spine that's quite lovely? And, and you're stacking each vertebrae, one on top of the other. Nice. Some of you will stay here. Who's going to reach with his or her left hand to hold the right knee, ankle, foot, and then you're kicking the leg out and over to the side, right? You might get your strap. I love this cheat, which is to take my left elbow, hike it underneath my right knee, and then I'm just kicking from there. This is quite lovely because it does two things. It makes the right thigh hug deeper into your chest and it makes your left elbow hoist that right leg, which is kind of fighting it off. We keep going. Stay in that twist. So it's a twist, a stretch, and it's actually quite a bit of core. Staying here could be good. Aaron and Aunt Kasma now, and maybe anybody else, Reach for the floor with the right hand. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is that your, yeah, that's your right hand. Your left hand is on your right foot and your right hand is on the floor. And stay there and twist and twist. Good. And then slowly out you come. Keeping your right thigh twisted on top of the left. Turn and look over the left shoulder now. So your backs will be to me. And you're twisting, good. Sitting up tall. Did anybody get a spinal adjustment? Sometimes you can like feel your back crickle crackle here, which is quite nice. Since you can save yourself to getting a correct chiropractic correction. You can just do it yourself on these twists. And then come back. My gentle kids sitting up tall, get another stretch of your heel to the glute. My aggressive kids hold onto the chair with the left hand, and then it's up, bend, down, tap. So it's core. If you're working core, you can even just lift the feet, lift the feet. Otherwise, knees up, legs straight. Knees bent, feet down. Knees up, legs straight. Knees bent, feet down. Otherwise, we're getting a quad stretch. Beautiful. Wow, guys. Let's have 4,096 more. Just kidding, just kidding. Let's just do 10 more. 10. Mm. Or we're getting a quad stretch. Nine. Tap. Eight. Mm. Seven, keep going. Six, tap. Five, come on in your new chair. Four, three, so good, Joe. Excellent, y'all. Two, wow, Gwen. One, and then out you come. Sit tall. Ten half sun salutations. Working on the breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, full, touch the floor. Now, for those of you who are gentle, keep seated in the chair. 
For those of you who wanted a little bit more, you're coming to stand. And then you're bending the knees, touching the floor, sitting back down. And then the arms overhead, coming up to stand. And then bending the knees, touching the butt to the chair, hands to the floor. So you can do the whole kit and caboodle, seated, or you can lean forward, come to stand, touch the sky, and then touch the floor and sit the butt down. Ah, oh, doing so well. Half sun salutations. You have eight more of whatever you've chosen. Beautiful. Is your breath in and out through the nose? I prefer that to the mouth, please, if you can, if you're not too congested. Then exhale and go down. Good, let's see. There are bonus points for those of you who don't use the hands to shove yourself off of the chair, unless you have a knee replacement, okay? So if your knee prohibits you from doing that, you can use your hands. However, I would really appreciate if you did not use your hands, okay? So that it would look like, it would look like stand and then lower down. Look, look, no hands. Stand and then lower down. Try it with no hands. Try it with no hands, please. If you have to use hands for the, sancti uh, the safety of your knees, use your beautiful Barbara. Guys, when you lift your hands overhead, please, I should see your, your Eve's apples or your Adam's apple if you're an Adam. So lift your chin. Good. Well done. Now, stand and face your chair. Put your hands onto the seat of the chair and push your hands into the seat of the chair and swing your hips from side to side. Now, as you swing your hips, oh, pivot your heels. So you're digging your right heel in and your left heel. It's gonna look like a gentle stacking of the feet. So when you take your hips to the left, your right heel is down and your right toes are up. Pause and stay in that twist. And hold for three, two, one, put your right foot down, move your hips to the right, dig your left heel into the floor, and then pivot your torso hips all the way to the left. Does everybody feel that underneath the back of the left thigh, perhaps in the left um, hip and the left ribs? Come back to center. Swing your hips to the left. Right heel down, right toes up, and pivot. And pivot a little more. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Left hand stays onto the chair. Right hand touches right knee, ankle, or foot. So you're using the chair to stabilize you as you fold over that thigh. Forward fold here. Three, two, one. Come out. Swing your hips to the right. Keep your left heel down. Flex your left foot. And then fold. Left hand finds the left foot, right hand is on the chair, and then go sideways. Go sideways and towards the thigh. Beautiful job, everybody, everybody. We're opening up into the back of the leg. Come back. Let's do that four more times each side. The pail of milk that you have, it's on your low back. And just let's give it, let's do a little milk shake here. So shake the pail, shake it. We're sloshing that from side to side. There's a little chunk in the, the milk. So shake it over to the right and shake that pail over to the left and shake it and shake that little ice cream. Shake milkshake. Your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Shake your shake it, shake it. Shake your milk, pail, shake it, and then pause. Swing the hips to the left. Right heel is down, right toes are up. Reach for the right foot and then fold. Stay for five. Breathe, four, 
So it's a forward fold over the right leg. Left hand is on chair, right foot is flexed. Bring your chest towards your right thigh and down. Mm. Come back to the second side. Swing your hips to the right. Keep your left heel down, left toes flexed, and then reach for the left hand to hold the left knee, ankle, shin, or foot. Bend your right elbow and drape your chest across your top of your left thigh. Hold for five. Come on, pull back on the left toes. Four, straighten, straighten the left leg. Three, get a little closer with your chest. Two, and then one. Three more, three more. Let's go to the second side. Hips to the left. Right heel down. Right toes up, flex the foot. And then reach forward, hold the sole of the foot with the right hand. Bring your chest in towards your thigh and lean in. Ah, stay here for 10 breaths. Longer hold this one, nine. Eight, maybe drop your head. Let your head fall and relax the neck. Six, five, forward fold over the right, four, three, two, good, and then come on up. Let's go to the second side. Let's go to the second side. Your left heel will be down. Your left leg is straight. And then direct your hips to the right. Now your left foot is flexed a lot. Reach for the sole of the left foot. Or maybe let the left hand drape onto the knee, ankle, or shin. And then fold in for 10 breaths. Eight. Seven. So it's a forward fold. Who's holding us up? Our right arm, right? So that right arm is the stabilizer. And you're pulling yourself over that left thigh. Ah. Oh, slowly, slowly come up to stand. So we've tried it on the floor. Let's up the ante. Let's up the um, ante. Let's put the, put your foot, whichever foot you want, just up onto the chair, right? Some of you will stay with the knee bent and touch the chair, and then just going back and forth, back and forth. Some of you will start to right away to straighten the leg, inhale up, and then bring the hands to hold the chair, right? The knee is bent, the hands on the seat of the chair, or maybe the leg is straight and the hands are on the back of the chair. Go forward, we're here for 15 breaths. Mm. Good, and now Anne, bend your standing knee and then round your back a little more, okay? So I want you to get into your low back. Barbara, you as well. So anybody who wants more back stretch, bend your standing leg and round your back more. Good. Excellent, Gwen. Good, Joe. Come out, step off, and march in place. March, 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 march in place. March, march, march in place. March, march. Keep marching. 10, marching, marching. 9, marching. 8, keep marching. 7, 6, march. 5, Four, get that blood flowing. Three, two, one. Let the second side, leg up. So is your knee bent? Yes. Find the chair, seat, or the hands on the back of the chair. You could be there. Is your leg straight? Great. Fold in. Hands on the seat of the chair or hands on the back of the chair. 15 breaths. Now, for my kids who want more of the back stretch, bend the standing leg and then pour yourself forward even more. Oh. Ten more breaths. This is a long hold for my kids who want stretch.
Come on, keep the back of the leg open by slightly bending the knee and sliding the hip back. And then slowly come up, march it out. 10, march. Now, for those of you who are good marching, you're marching. Those of you who want to give me a, a skip, we're skip, skip. Otherwise, we're marching in place. My kids who want to take it easy, we're going slow, and it's a pedaling of the feet. So those of you who are marching, you're marching. Those of you who are skipping, skip. 10, skip. 9, skip. 8, skip. 7, skip. 6, skip. 5, would you think your neighbor were crazy if you saw her skipping down the street like this? This is how I go around the neighborhood. I just skip around. Some people start skipping. They think it looks cool, so they do it. And then they realize how hard it is and they stop. Good, come on out, rest on your back, drape your legs over the chair, and come onto your Shavasana with your eyes closed. Ask your not to pose. Backs of legs, knees up on chair, back is onto the floor. And then just close your eyes. Hmm. And when you come into this space of final relaxation, check in with your breath. Can you slow it down? And can you become more sensitive and sensible and satisfied with your inhales and exhales? Cool morning air going into the lungs, cleansing warm air going out. Cool, sweet, clear morning air, filling the lungs and taking out any cobwebs, any stuck feeling. On the exhale, send out any stagnation, anything that doesn't serve you. And then keep breathing like this. feeling very relaxed and very supported by the floor. For those of you happy in your Shavasana, just stay. For those of you who want to, Give a subtle massage to your temples. We'll do some emotional freedom tapping. So if you have one, you're still on your backs, you're still in your Shavasana. If you have on glasses, please take them off and then just take your, um, your pointer finger and your middle finger and just begin to tap along the eyebrows and just tap very gently along the eyebrows and around the orbit of the eye, the brow, and then tap along towards the sinuses right under the eyes, and then back and around. So you're tapping along the ridge of your eyebrows and along the cheekbones. Tap along the center of the forehead, and then tap around, tap the eyebrows, and around underneath the eyes. And then tap along your jaw. Then gently tap upon your chin. 
tap along your jaw. Up and around to the underside of your eyes. It's just a very light tapping. Circle around, tap along your eyebrows. Tap along the center of the forehead. And then take another loop going around to the jaw. This time add all four fingers. So if we started off with two fingers, now you're tapping with four fingers and then tap with a loving, loving insistence. And then loop around, tap underneath the eye area, right on the cheekbones, tap up around the eyebrows, along the center of the forehead, and then just let the hands go down and rest. Close your eyes. And just feel that after reverberation of the tapping. This is emotional freedom tapping. It helps stoke immune response. It's good for your sinuses. It brings a sense of balance to your skull. And it allows you to soften the little muscles around the eyebrows the corners of the eyes, your jaw. So wonderful to see you. Happy New Year. Please wash your hands, stay healthy, drink really nice water with some splash of lemon. It's getting very cleansing after all these twists that we did. And Check in with me next week. I will see you back. Thank you for coming. Namaste.